Republic of Singapore Navy has achieved a milestone in its air and sea capabilities. For the first time, it has naval helicopters working alongside its frigates to accomplish what's described as the best of both worlds. Ho Yi has more on the exercise off the coast of the U.S. state of California. This Sikorsky Seahawk helicopter is one mean detection machine. Packed with sonars and surveillance radars, it is deployed from its frigates to hunt for targets underwater or in the air. Dropping its sonar into the water, the Seahawk senses danger. The information is relayed to the command team back on the ship. The team has two options. Deploy its missiles or have the Seahawk attack using its own torpedoes. The Seahawk enables a frigate to see further, extending its range by nearly 200 kilometers. It also moves faster, five times more than the frigate, making it niftier and quicker at spotting enemy targets. Six naval helicopters were bought in 2005, and Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Teo Chi Hien got a close look at their might during a naval exercise in the waters of California. He said the naval is a ship and a helicopter platform to uh, dominate a much greater area of a sea and airspace, both above the surface and below the surface, than is possible either with a ship alone or with an aircraft alone. The fact that you can put a ship and an aircraft together and uh, sort of multiply the capabilities of both by operating them together as one system is a major leap forward in capability for the SCM. The week-long exercise was jointly conducted with the US Navy. Since last November, officers from the Singapore Navy have been training with their US counterparts to carry out such integrated maritime helicopter missions. They will return to set up a Seahawk squadron at the end of the year. The MH-60R multi-mission helicopter is the most advanced anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare helicopter in the world today. The Romeo is underway and fully operational in U.S. Navy ships, meeting the diverse challenges of the global maritime battle space. Its sensors are cutting edge, state of the art. Its airframe is time-tested to meet the rigors of a difficult at-sea environment. The Romeo lineage goes back to the 1980s in the SH-60B and SH-60F helicopters. Its robust capabilities have been honed during three decades of operational at-sea experience, spiral development, and challenging long-term United States Navy developmental and operational testing. The Romeo is the best in class because the U.S. Navy has demanded the best in class. During its initial deployment, the Romeo far exceeded expectations, logging over 2,700 flight hours with a sortie completion rate of 95%. Its primary anti-submarine warfare sensor, the ALF's dipping sonar, has broken all airborne sensor records, displaying three to seven times the detection ranges of legacy systems. Combining the extreme long range of the dipping sonar and active sonar buoys with the lethality of the Mark 54 active homing torpedo, the Romeo is a potent force against subsurface threats. It is the only airborne ASW asset organic to the United States Navy Battle Group, capable of meeting all Battle Group ASW requirements. The new MH-60R anti-surface warfare sensors make it a game changer. Its multi-mode radar displays 10 times the number of tracks as legacy systems. Its ESM system has a passive capability that provides 10 times the accuracy previously experienced. The Romeo's three-man crew uses its decision aids, long-range ISAR, FLIR, and IFF to identify, verify, and engage hostile surface contacts with its eight Hellfire missiles. This robust capability makes the Romeo the primary close-in weapon system for the U.S. Navy Harrier Battle Group. The Romeo is proven and excelled in the challenging operational U.S. Navy Battle Group environment and is now operating with Allied navies. Recent Romeo operations with the Australian Navy is just the first step in full global naval interoperability.
The time for Romeo is now. It's underway, it's operational, and it's available to navies worldwide.